Hello everyone, we will continue the topic change pointers technique and in the previous video we covered what is the purpose of change pointers technique, how it is different from change document technique, what are the tables for change pointer log and what are the tables for change document log. Now in this video, what I will do? I will take a document. Document means I will take a material. I will change that material. Then I will show you change document log also. And then I will show you change pointer log also. Then we will proceed further. So suppose what I will do. This is our 100 client. Okay. I'll just go to 100 client. Okay, I will log in. This is 200 client. I will log in into 100 client. Now, I will take a material. I will go to MM02 transaction code. You all know with the help of MM02 transaction code, you can change a material. Suppose I am going for a material. I will go for OK. The current description of this material is testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I will show you the description into MAKT table, you all know MAKT table has the description of the material. I will put send underscore 40. I will go for OK. Now you can see that description is testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Suppose I am changing that description and I am simply putting test. I will go for save. So I change that description to test. Now if I will show you that table, in that descript table, that description is test. Now we change that description from testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to test. Now during the audit, how we can predict that what was the previous description? Where is the log of this particular document? Because during the audit, company wants to check who changed that particular description. What was the reason behind that? on what date and what time these particular things are changed. Then at that time, change document log will play a vital role. And yes, extremely important change document log because with the help of that only we can track the changes to that document. During the audit of the company, this change document log plays a vital role. In this table, you are able to see the current description, but what was the previous description of this particular document or material? We can check through CD post and CD HDR table. The change document log stores into CD HDR and CD post table. Change document header, change document item table. So I will go to CD post and CD HDR. Suppose firstly, I will go to CD HDR table, change document header. I will display. The purpose itself is change document header. Suppose I will put my username. I will put that today's date. Okay. And we used which transaction? MM02. I will go for OK. And you can see we are getting so many entries, but I will go for the latest time. Yes, because this is the latest time. Send underscore 40. This is the latest time, 17. Now in this table, you are able to see the document number. Change document number. So whatever the changes we are doing, SAP generates a change document number for the same. 
So I will copy this change document number. It is clearly saying this is the particular material change document number. This is my user ID, date, time, MM02 transaction code. So if I will go to item table, it will give me the full, full details. What was the things changed? I will go to CD post. I will go to OK. Now I will put the change document number here also. And you can see we are getting it is clearly saying what was the old value? Old value is testing one, two, three, four, five. What is the new value test? We updated which field we updated MAKTX material description for which material send underscore 40. And this is the change document number. So your change document log is always, always into CD, HDR and CD post table. So this is your change document log. Now, what is change pointer log pointer? Now, in the change pointer log will store into BDCP2 table or you can go for these two table. You can check your system. Now, generally, yes, now the based upon this, the every time now the log into in this particular table itself. Because SAP combined these two table into this table. So if I will go to this table, BDCP2, I will display. Now you can see it is clearly saying aggregated change pointers. SAP combined these two table into this particular table. So this is the change pointer table, change pointer. I will go for contents. Now same to same document number I will pass here also which I put in CD post and CD HDR. I will put this document number here also. If I will go for OK. Now you can see we are able to see that data into this change pointer table also change pointer log table also. That's why the first word which I told you change pointer technique is based upon change document technique. Why, why I'm using the word change document technique? Because the change document number, same to same change document number, you are passing into this BDCP2 table change document number. For that change document number, we are getting the change pointer number, change pointer. So for this change pointer, ultimately, what is the base change document number? That's why we are saying for the change pointer, the change document is the base for the same. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you what I did. I changed a particular material. Then I showed you the change document log or history into CD HDR and CD post table. CD HDR is change document header. CD post is change document item. And the most important column is your document number, change document number. And in CD post, we are able to see the new value and the old value. Now, same to same change document number we put into BDCP2 table, which is a table for change pointer log. When you put that change document number, you are getting the corresponding change pointer, change pointer. Now, in the next video, we will see same. now the data, now the change pointer log is in BDCP2 table. How this program, because ultimately at the last, what we are doing, we are running this particular program, this program. So this program, 
will take that data from this change pointer table and pass the changes to the other client. That's why we are saying yes, change pointer is used to send the data from one SAP client to another SAP client. In the next video, we will see how, how this data is going to the other client. So that's it in this video. Thank you.